Hey, hola, my friends. How's everybody been? I hope all is fine and well with you and yours. Welcome to our solar-powered, aquaponic, hydroponic, and over there, meditation gardens. I had to give you an update because it's Friday. I hope you guys all had a great, safe week. I hope you're going to have a pleasant weekend. But I wanted to give you an update on the aquaponics rig. Now, this there's, there's no camera tricks to cameras. I'm not deceiving you. I'm not trying to trick you or anything. Um, there's reasons why you've seen this explosion in growth. This is that little melon that I held either a week or two ago. For those who grow watermelon, you know it takes a long time for them to get bigger like that. Well, um, not in this system. Once again, I'm going to show you why in a second. I still have my onions out here drying, the ones that I pulled the other day. If you haven't seen that video, please take a look back. It's pretty awesome. But remember when you guys saw this little tiny thing hanging here, maybe it was a week, a week and a half ago. Yeah, look at that now. Maybe not even a week ago. I think I might have showed you this a few days ago. Let's take a look at that past video, and if you get a chance, take a look at this. Once again, there's a reason why. Now, I try to use as few running parts as possible as the system. And since I've been um, working with Dr. James over in the Netherlands, thank you, Doc, I've made some incredible improvements to this very basic system. Um, for instance, we no longer have the um, air pump the standalone air pump running so we got rid of all of the extra tubing this is just an update for those who may not know we got rid of all the extra tubing we saved about a hundred watts in power we also switched out the pump and a hydroponics rig because since we closed down the back bed the tomato bed we no longer needed a 60 watt pump so we dropped down to a 30 watt so we cut the power uses over here in half as well yeah these guys are doing great aren't they take a look at that well that one's a basil not quite Oh, and this is the tomato, pardon me, this is the tomato clone from the giant tomato forest that we had back there. So let's come back over here. Now, um, the way aquaponics works, the water comes through the um, fish bed. Um, it goes through this grow bed, the first one, the top one, comes through the second grow bed, uh, yada, bacteria breaks down nitrates, uh, nitrogen and nitrates, nitrates get broken down, nitrites, nitrites get broken down in the nitrates. Plants love nitrates now just to give you an idea of how efficient this system is I don't run a biofilter I don't run any type of outside filter because my whole goal with this is there's a balance in nature and I believe this guys there's a balance in nature find that balance put that key in turn it and it's gonna open up for you you'll be you'll become aware of it and you'll figure out how to do this and that's basically what I've been working on and I keep telling you guys I've had this for two and a half years I haven't it'll be two years next month Two years next month so all of the learning was done in two years just aquaponics now um, um i usually would do just a strip test you know they just you take this little strip and um you look at the color results after you dip it in the water and um it tells you basic information about your system and i did that but i really wanted to test and see why this system was running so efficiently so before i'll show you why i wanted to show you the test results all right let's take a look down here this one is for fresh and saltwater fish. This is for nitrites. It should be at zero ppm. That's zero. Okay, you see the color if you can. All right. This is ammonia. This should be at zero. See the color? Zero. This is nitrates. Now, this shouldn't be at zero. This should be between 40 and um, 80. And that's in an aquarium if it's not aquaponics. Now I want you to listen to that. If it's not aquaponics, if it's aquaponics, because we have so much stuff going on in this enclosed ecosystem, it should be a little bit higher. But look at ours. Right there, about 50. Now, just off of these results alone, um, any aquaponics garden will tell you, okay, that's an incredibly clean and efficient system. But for those who these um, results might not mean much to, let's take a walk, walk to the back of the system and we'll use the simplest test that we possibly can. How about that, my friends? We have a glass, you see? Here is our exit line back into the fish tank. There you go. I'm telling you guys, you can do this. Of course, I'm absolutely not going to drink this, but Instead of drinking it, let's just think, man. 
You guys can do this. We're trying to do this all around the world. Dr. James, thank you for all of your help, sir. And to all of my friends and my supporters out there, thank you. We made it to 3 million. You guys are awesome. Let's keep the energy going. Plant that first seed, and together we'll grow. Peace and blessings, my friends.